Cameron and Kenny squeezed the orange juice, and I made the waffles. Mom, can you uh, take Nick in my car to the mechanic? I gotta take Kenny to school. Sure, I'll be right back. Stop reminding you that you would do it. Does this have to be such an issue? I just asked for a little help. Fine, Dad, honey, it's not an issue, but you're still taking the boys. I'm in the middle of closing a deal. I'm trying to remember the last time my mom and dad started the day without fighting. They can't. I mean, I guess it's all about change, and everything in this house is changing, including my voice. Your grandma's been living with us ever since my grandpa died. Another big change for all of us. Lately, I think she's got a thing for John Glenn. Are they okay? Things have been better, honey, but they'll be okay. You go to school like that? I think Cameron swiped my air walks. That's nice. This is how you want to start your morning. This is exactly how I don't want to start my morning. As if this place wasn't tuned down enough, we're remodeling the kitchen. What we'll kind of keeps the whole change motif going? Well, sure, it's dusty and loud, but... At least the noise drowns out my parents fighting. On the downside, <laughs> my parents are in, like mid-midlife crisis. But in the win column, I've got a GPA over 4.0. Oh, it kicks some serious SAT butt. I've been accepted to Berkeley. Early admission. I have this killer bot that I don't even have to work out for. My life is hell. I've got this um, surprise for my parents later on that is going to get them so mental they'll freak. Oh, I'm not, um, I'm not pregnant or anything. Like my mom was with me when she was only like exactly my age. And I'm not gay either. <laughs> Get real. I know what you're thinking. This is another one of those smart ass shows where the kids talk to the audience like on um, Dawson's Creek. Which, actually, come to think of it, I'm not even sure does voiceovers. See, personally, I wouldn't be caught dead watching it because there is nothing more obnoxious than self aware teens who know more about life's great mysteries than their parents. Oh, but don't worry, we're not gonna get all stirmy either, like on my so-called life. Although, you know, that chick didn't do so bad for herself. Dad, you see my airwalks? What are airwalks? Shoes. Can't help you. My mom's all fractured about the whole concept of my sister going to college and triggering the old empty nest countdown. Yeah, talk about your mega change. Every day it's the same. Mom imagines Megan opening the door, walking out of the house, and out of her life forever. Fact, my airwalks are missing. In probability, my brother took them. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Mom. Fact, said brother has some serious contraband in his bedroom. Oh, well, Mom, I think I heard Cameron puking up a lung or something last night. Okay, thanks. Airwalks? Nope. You still want a window in that existing wall. We gotta open her up, retruss it, then I gotta drop a header down in there, bring that out. How much? 3,500, give or take. Do it. Cam? <clears throat> Cam, honey? Cam, honey, you okay? Mm. Mm. Mom, Gabby. Gabby, my mom. Hey, Mrs. Green. You need to talk to your son. I did. He still thinks modern dance is the way to go. I was talking to my husband. Oh, sorry. Which son? Cameron. He had a girl stay overnight. It's not easy being the mother of a sexually active teenager. 
Especially when he's the only one in the house who's getting any. It's completely unacceptable that he did that, but I have a meeting five minutes ago. I'll talk to him later. Later? It's too late, Mitch. This is happening now. Well, then you talk to Kim. He listens to you. How long do fish sleep anyway? Cameron has Gabby Schultz stay all night and my parents don't assassinate him? Oh, there is no God. Oh, man. A bra. I love bras. The secrets they hold. Okay, there is a God. I've got two parties in one night and only one bartender, so I need you to wait. Mom's party planner. I don't just mean it's what she's good at, it's what she does for a living. She plans other people's good times. How weird is that? Did you tell your mother yet? <laughs> no, Grandma, I didn't. <laughs> tell me what? I was, um, nominated for valedictorian. <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. Oh. Oh. Your sister was nominated for valedictorian. Awesome. Wait, does, uh, does this mean she moves out sooner? Dude, I cannot even wait to move the family food chain and snag a room. Then there's no more sharing a bathroom with this little bodily function of brother. Oh. What's that for? Oh, Mommy, I think I heard uh, Cameron puking up alone last night. This is my binge week. Megan, I've got a great idea. Why don't we have a dinner in honor of your honor? Hmm? Mom, oh, I think I mean, I mean, oh, Hey, hey guys, yeah. guys, come on. When was the last time this family did something together, huh? Ooh, I know. Uh, Grandpa's funeral. I'm gonna, like, shower. Good. So, how about uh, Friday night? Hmm? Um, whatever. Okay. Oh, flowers. Oh, Mitch, apology accepted. Is there a Cameron Green here? Gabby? Mm, Dakota. Oh, tell me she's never slept here. Not overnight. If you know that you love me, you've been in. You got your bed, that's not too good. Cameron? Cameron? Cameron, I am... I'm upset about you having Gabby stay over last night. Mom, listen, I know how hyper you get about kids and sex and stuff like that, so I had Gabby stay over for you. Run that by me again. Uh, hello? I mean, we were going to do it at her house. Poor mom. Since we all did the math and figured out she got pregnant when she was Megan's age, now she's kind of lost some leverage in the safe sex department. The zoning commission votes our way. We're talking some serious bucks. College tuition. Serious. You're so happy to try telling your face. Huh? You've been a wreck all morning. Oh. Oh, I don't know. There's, there's something about Mary. She's been leading the league in bad moods. Do what I do. Couples therapy? Have an affair? You. Really? <laughs> How long? Who? A couple months. Laker girl. What about you and Jennifer? There have been happier marriages. I know, but you don't think you two could... Uh... Mitch. Buddy, I'm talking the Oriental Laker girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we're supposed to call them Asian. Victor Castillo, my best friend. Keeper of secrets, big and small. He's got like nine kids in his family and a father who went out for the proverbial six-pack two years ago and ended up living with some waitress uh, named Amber. Don't go getting all PC on us about the Latino coming from the big family whose father split. I mean, it happens, okay? I know. It happened to Victor. And he hates it. You know, all the babes to be naked in a video, and it has to be Alanis Morissette. Megan and Mike Fitty, student body president, national merit scholar, lettered in six sports, captain of four, except to Yale and West Point. She dumped him two weeks ago. Ah, Jane Cohen. You might ask, what's a guy like me doing falling in love with a girl like her? Praying for a miracle. Today's the day, me amigo. To talk to her? No way. Two words. Carpe diem. Fish of the day? Seize the day. Hey. 
S A U. All right. Yeah, well, I missed my ride. What is that stuff? Calvin Klein's obsession. Oh, appropriate and ironic. Oh, God. Frank Ortiz. Formerly little Frankie Ortiz. Until he grew like 16 inches one summer. And now he's bigger than Jana Reno. Move! I can't. I, I want to, really, but I can't. Hey, Ortiz, what are you pressing on him for? Because I can. Tu eres hombre vato? You don't even speak Spanish, do you? You go out your... No! You and me, tomorrow morning, behind the bleachers. Bring an ambulance. Guess I'm calling in sick tomorrow. And if you call in sick tomorrow... Huh? I'll come to your house, eat your dog. Look at the bright side. Hey, it kills you. I heard there's a girl on TV who needs a kidney. Yo, bro. Thanks, man. Great. I'm gonna get killed before I ever get a chance to see my first real boob. Welcome to the worst day of my life. My pants are soaked. Frank Ortiz is going to dismember me. I think I've got internal bleeding in two places for my brother pounding on me. So what have I got to lose? I'll just... <sighs> hey, you see that? A definite upturning of the lips. She knows I'm alive. It's a great day. And brave Lindsay Holt's family is praying for a miracle tonight and a new kidney for their daughter. Doctors fear time is running... Mitch? Mitch, can that wait? I really need to download my day with you. Let me you. call David, then we can talk. Cameron Honey. is having sex in the house. Didn't you talk to him? It's like talking to cheese. <laughs> okay, try this. Megan's nominated for valedictorian. Valedictorian? And I didn't know. I gotta, I gotta slow down. I was just thinking about how we used to sit and catch up on stuff over breakfast. Me too. You know, now breakfast is a power bar and a V8 if I'm lucky. I miss you. I miss us. You know, I, I miss those Eggs Benedict mornings with the <laughs> homemade hollandaise and fresh squeeze on Look, I know how much you like Eggs Benedict, but with my new business, I hey, don't honey, really have honey, time honey, to get up and whip up. wasn't a comment. I'm I'm just saying I'm missing the same things you are. I'm sorry. I'm just getting a little out of it lately. You know what we need? Mm. We need a date. Yum. Tomorrow night, dinner for two, me and you. Perfume and garter belts. No, that could be trouble. I like trouble. <laughs> What can you say about a kid like me who has to go to a brother like Cameron for advice? You could say he's desperate. Little brother dude, heard about the impending massacre. Hey, Any advice? Yeah. In uh, Butch and Sundance, Paul Newman has to fight this guy who's like eight feet tall. And bam! Kicks him right in the Zambonis. End of fight. Great. Thanks, Fonzie. Yeah. Gabby? <laughs> Not even. Dakota. Ancient history. Hey, uh, who are you fighting anyway? Frank Ortiz. <laughs> you are like so dead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ortiz. What's the matter? Scared? Huh? Can't take it, Vato? Yeah, I've got your Vato right here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ah, 
how the hell am I ever going to face my parents after I break the news to them? If my mom had just used birth control, I wouldn't be here wishing I weren't here. A life taken too soon. A life not yet lived. A life ended before he ever saw his first real boo. A life interrupted in the prime of sexual prowess. Kenny! A life no, ripped from the hearts Kenny. of thousands of thousands who loved him. Kenny! Kenny? Kenny! Kenny! Huh? You okay, honey? You haven't eaten a thing. Oh, sure, Mom. I'm fine. Okay. Count Chocula wasn't exactly what I had in mind for a last meal. You got your termites, you got your water damage. Okay, so how, how much? 2200 give or take. Two words. Crotchless panties. What'd I tell you, huh? He's late. He's not showing. Ah, bullies are all the same. Fat talk, skinny walk. Sorry I'm late. Had a previous fight. Oh, God. All I wanted was to live long enough to see, okay, to touch my first real boob. Right, Cameron, for the first time in your life, I hope you're right. Uh-oh. Kidding. Your kids are doing great. I think so. It looks like after this last accident, Cameron's finally learned his lesson about taking risks. Whoa! Whoa! Try that, you weenie! And Kenny, he's my angel. I never have to worry about him. And Megan, <laughs> you know about Megan. She is on top of the world. She's never been happier. That's great news, Mr. Bertucci. Contracts are on the way. <laughs> a Laker girl? You're banging a Laker girl? Listen. Ah! Don't talk. You're gone. I want you out of the house, out of my life. Do that to you. No, I, I got in a fight. Well, is there uh, is there any subtext to this fight you want to tell me about? Just kids being kids. Mom, are you and Dad okay? Well, there's some. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's it's just adults being adults. And we are going to work it out tonight. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. My angel. Hey, Mary, how are you? Good to see you. Jennifer threw me out. What can I do? You can tell him no. Mary, you look fantastic. Yeah, honey, you do. Oh, God. Oh, this family's in a lot of trouble. Gross! Luna yak chunks all over the patio. Ooh, Chinese. Awesome. I'll get the dog on. You do that. Hi, looking for David? Hi, hi, hi. Everybody, this is Nico. Hi, how you doing? You have excellent breasts. Thanks, they were a gift. My 
God, you could hide Anne Frank in that cleavage. Hello, 911? Yeah, you might want to keep this line open. Promised land. Oh my God, there's that little bow thing. <laughs> I cannot believe David left Jennifer for this mannequin. I mean, at least Jennifer had the integrity to throw him out, and she's always taken the high road, the dignified approach. To... Take a look at these, David. This is real life. Whoa. I had two kids for you. Oh, the first real boobs I see, and it has to be these. This is what it looks like. Oh, you poor babe, you can't handle it. Gravity sucks. Courageous Lindsay Holt's ordeal to find a new kidney is finally over. Surgeons performed the life-saving operation last night when a donor became available for the local... The kidney girl found a donor. What was the last movie we saw together in a theater? Uh... It was Die Hard, okay? What was the last movie we rented? I heard too. Dances with wolves. And you fell asleep. It's three hours long. Oh, damn it, Mitch. This isn't about movies, right? It's about me bringing David home on a night we had planned to, to be get... alone. <sighs> did, did it ever occur to you to tell David, I'm sorry, you cannot come over. I have promised Mary a long overdue romantic evening. Honestly? Honestly. No. He's my best friend. And I'm your wife. Look, I know we've been together a hundred years and it can't always be stimulating and exciting, but once, just once, choose me. How much? 1900 give or take. Uh, and no lilies in the centerpiece. His wife's allergic. We okay about last night? Sure. Ah! Not today, Bob Munch. I think I dislocated a digit. Oh. You hear that, bro? It's <laughs> opportunity not. You got nothing to fear. I know. Except a pathetic lifetime of loneliness. Carpe the diem, or die alone. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Oh, she's calling me. Well, I guess that was kind of the point. Wanna try something in a hello? Hello? Yeah, I got a page. You, uh, got plans for lunch? Who is this? Just a guy who could, uh, change your life forever. <laughs> I'm listening. Now impress me. Well, when you tuck your hair behind your ear, you look amazing. You up for it? Girls gotta eat. Nervous? Me? No. Why? I can't tell you how sorry we are about this, Mr. Green. We appreciate all of your hard work on our behalf. The zoning commission, everything. But we're gonna build in Mexico. The labor force, the exchange rate, the tax incentives. I feel great! Jane Cohen, you are so mine. Damn it! Well, not today. Doesn't he need to be beating up a nun or something? And she's like... 
gonna be, bro? It's gonna be me and Gene. <laughs> you the man! That's what happened to Cameron's hand. He punched out Frank Ortiz. My brother is human, maybe even capable of emotion. The reign of terror is over. I killed my brother. Cameron came to Kenny's defense. Oh, maybe there's hope for him yet. Maybe not. Ooh, come to me, baby. Today, lunch. Next week, dinner. A couple more years, we're living together. Huh? Jane is my brother's next user-friendly squeeze. I told you it wouldn't work. Oh, God. Why can't I just disappear from the face of the earth like Alicia Silverstone? Anyone out there needs me? Just go to www.loser.com. I'll be there. Cameron, you kiss my girl? Hey, back buddy? Like Linda Tripp? Is a bitch. <laughs> So easy. No jury in the land. Oh, tell me about it. Really? That's wow. <laughs> To my baby, who has brought me joy every day of her life, know that we are so proud of you. And know that you are loved. I don't know who's going to miss her more, my mom or me. I cannot, like, wait until she gets out of here. Um, thank you all so much for, um, for your love, for your support, for mm, the tuition. <laughs> I, uh, I know how much it means to you that your little girl is going off to college next year. Only, um, I'm not. What? I turn Berkeley down. All right. Damn it. Are you gay? Come up. I mean, you broke up with that nice boy, and you have that poster of those two lesbians. No, 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 no Grandma. I'm not gay. Grandma, no, I'm not gay. She's like, like show me. beyond lame. All right, okay, I know that this is difficult for you. Believe me, it is for me, too. I just, I don't know what I want to do. The only thing that I know that I don't want to do is, is go to college. Oh. Mom, Dad, I'm, um, I'm still the same girl you loved so much two minutes ago. No, no, Megan, this is not happening. You are going to college. All the plans? Mom, planning is what you do. Okay, I wanted to go to Columbia, but you, you planned it for me to go to Berkeley because it's closer to home. How can you do this to me? God, I am not doing this to you. I am doing this for me. Oh, God. I just need some time to figure out what to do with my life. Oh, you want to know what to do with your life? You live it. You don't go float on the surface of it. If you just go to college... I can float through another four years like I did in high school? Meg, Meg. Oh. Are you sure you thought this through? Daddy, it's the only thing that I've been thinking about for like a year. For the first time in my life, I don't have a plan. And yeah, yeah, it's kind of scary, but you know what? It... It feels good. It, it feels real. Megan. Megan, all your friends are oh, going to... Oh, could you just, like, obsess on this college thing a little more? Maybe you're the one who should go. Oh, my. Thanks, Mitch. Oh, look. I'm as devastated as you are about this, but if she doesn't feel like going, I don't see the point in forcing her. What, are you just relieved you don't have to pay the tuition? Whoa, Mom, you might want to take that one back. Necessary. You know, and unfair.
Megan wouldn't be doing this if you weren't always pushing her. What? You had her life so planned out, it lost its meaning. Yeah, well, one of us had to be involved in the lives of our children. Well, what the hell does that mean? Did you even notice Kenny's eye? Yeah, I thought Cameron popped him one. Cameron? You want to talk about Cameron? He's sneaking girls into the house and having sex with them. But what if he got one of them pregnant, huh? Cam and I have already had that talk. Oh, what? Safe sex? Yeah, like, we're the experts. You're the one who got me pregnant with Megan. We had to get married. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. So now ah! it's my, what? It's my fault that you got pregnant? Anybody see the problem here? Anybody? Anybody? The problem is, I'm not the problem. You want to talk plans? When I was a kid, I was dreaming what my life would be. You think I planned to have three kids before I was 25? You realize how big that is? Yeah, I was there too, remember? Yeah, and you were great, but you have been grinding me so much about being too busy, too uninvolved. Well, you are I'm a mom too, too busy. You are too hey, uninvolved. Maybe I could be a better father or a better husband. Maybe I made some mistakes along the way, but I have been killing myself. 60 hours a week so this family could have a roof and vacations and new cars and a remodel, a room for your mother and tuition. I've been kissing the asses of a bunch of jerks just to have them throw the damn deal back in my face. You lost the deal? Mitch, I didn't know. Yeah, well, there are a lot of things you don't know, Mary. Or remember. The reason the last movie we saw was Die Hard was because when you wanted to see the horse whisperer, I had the Boy Scout sleep over with Kenny. You know, when you bust me for falling asleep during Dances with Wolves? Well, you know, that was the same morning I got up at 5 a.m. to drive down to San Diego to close an escrow. Well, normally I would have gone down the night before, but no, I stayed up here to have dinner with you. Oh, so you were doing me a favor? No, I, I was being married. I was accepting my responsibilities. I wasn't complaining about it. All I'm saying is, why don't you try to stop resenting me every time things don't go according to your plan? You know, if you can't get all the way to loving me, at least try to understand me. If this were cheers, we'd have sex right now. Yeah, well, this isn't cheers. I'm sleeping in the guest room tonight. I need time to myself. Is panache CH or SH? You might not want to go in there for a while. Fans broke. Paperwork. Yeah. Mitch. Yeah. This is Mitchell Green. What? Kill my brother in the first episode. He's across the hall. Cam? Cam? Cam, honey. Hey, aren't you the guy that's always smiling at me in biology? Were you with him? Yeah. I, I told him to slow down. Well, maybe now he will. Yeah, yeah right. right.
Well, got to admit, I sure do well in a crisis. <laughs> yeah, that's the easy part, huh? Just that everyday stuff that's so hard. What's happened to us? Life happened, kids happen. We lost our way. Think we can find it again? I don't know. What are you doing down here? Waiting for you. I was sitting here thinking about being 18, so confused and afraid, dropping a bombshell on your parents and feeling all alone in the world. Yeah, Megan, really oh, I'm not talking about Megan, I'm talking about you. But when you told me you were pregnant, <laughs> you want to talk plans? Hardly what I had planned for my daughter. I know. And what did I do? You asked me if I wanted to keep the baby. I said yes. And you said that you loved me and respected me and would do anything to help me. I buried a husband last year, so I'm big on putting things in perspective. And Megan not going to college is pretty far down the list of catastrophes around here. What are you doing down here? Waiting for you. I was sitting here thinking about being 18 and dropping a bombshell on your parents and feeling all alone in the world. You're talking about yourself, right? Yeah, well, when I found out I was pregnant with you, all my choices changed. Well, not going to college is a choice, too. If it's a mistake, then, then it's my mistake. It, um... Did you make a mistake having me? Oh, God, no. No, I have loved every minute of having you in my life. With the possible exception of tonight. <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm just trying to find a connection with you. Mom, you're looking for something that's already there. Victor in one of those Ally McBeal dream things. My brother threw my shoes up here. <laughs> like, tell me about it. My brother is a Nazi, too. <laughs> you got a name? Kenny. I'm Rebecca. We just moved here. I'm going to Truman. Me, too. I, maybe I could, you know, show you around or something. That could achieve coolness. <gasps> so, what have we learned here? Megan's not going to college. Cameron's not dead. I just met this incredible girl with a permanently visible bra. My parents look like they're they gonna... Can.
Daniels Cameron. Not talking to me. And that would be because... I grounded his reckless ass. <laughs> Dad, way to show some Zambonis. I gotta go check out the Bronco. You wanna come? Maybe we could uh, catch up on stuff. Oh, hey, Dad. Uh, where are you sleeping tonight? In the house. With Mom? Maybe. Okay, so we didn't exactly put the fun back in functional. Yeah, but like I said up top, you know, it all comes down to changes. And my family's sure going through them. Yeah, but I really wanted this whole story to tie together for you. Well, okay, for me. You know, but I guess it isn't one of those times. Something I did learn, though. Is that I have to stop trying to please everyone else. Being the good student, the good sister, the good daughter was fine, but... <laughs> that was so yesterday. It was a whole nother me. I've spent my life pleasing my parents, my teachers, my friends, and now it's time to please myself. You want everything tied up in a bow? Go watch Seventh Heaven. The way I see it, life is full of surprises, and I want mine too. So, um, your parents are gone, right? Uh-huh. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm no death wish danger slut. But I'm no angel either. <laughs> Get real. Okay, Brad. Just friends, right? <laughs>